Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Verified Soul and also to this video. On the last video we discussed all the important tips that will give you a successful DV lottery interview. And that video is very important to you. If you have not watched that video, it's good that you go back and watch that video. But in this video, I want us to discuss on one of those tips that I gave you that is regarding not leaving your derivatives when you go for the interview. And now let's talk about the derivatives. Those people that you include in your DV process as the DV principal applicant. Let's begin with understanding the principal applicant. The principal applicant is the main person that played the lottery and was selected a DV winner. That is the principal applicant. And he or she must be present during the interview. The principal applicant cannot be left behind and the derivatives attend the interview. It is impossible. The principal applicant is the one that is known to KCC. He's the one that was selected and has the case number. So he's the person that KCC knows of. Let's say if the principal applicant decides not to proceed with the DV process, that means that is an end to the whole process. The derivatives cannot proceed without the principal applicant. In another uncertain situation might be the principal applicant dies. If the principal applicant happens to die during the process, that is also a total end to the process. Even if the DS-260 was submitted and maybe you are waiting for the interview, but the principal applicant dies, then the program comes to a halt. The derivatives cannot attend the interview without the principal applicant. Now, having understood that, let's come to the derivatives. Who are these that should count as derivatives and should attend the interview together with the principal applicant? The first qualified derivative that must be present during the interview is the spouse of the principal applicant. That must be included in the whole DV process. The first or the initial application and also on the DS-260 form and be present during the interview. And the spouse is not a girlfriend or a boyfriend. A spouse is not a person that you've lived with for many years. A spouse is someone to whom you are legally married. And that means you have the marriage certificate. The marriage certificate is the single document that proves that this is your spouse. He or she must be added on the DS-260 form. That is the document that proves he or she is your derivative. Therefore, if you are with a person that you are not legally married, he or she is not your spouse. The second person that should be present at the interview and is one of your derivatives is the child or children. All the children that the principal applicant has must be included in the initial application as well as on the DS-264 clearly outlined with their details. And the children that are your derivatives are not just children you're living with. No. 
they must fall under these three categories that I'm about to discuss. The first category is your biological children. The children that you gave birth to, your natural children, they are your derivatives. And they must be added in the initial application on the DS-260 form and they must be present during the interview. If you leave them out, then that is a total visa denial. The second set of children that must be included, they include your stepchildren. And this has been raising confusion. Stepchildren are the children of your spouse. If you have legally married your spouse, then the children they came with, they are your stepchildren. And they must be added in the initial application on the DS-260 form and must be present during the interview. If you leave one of them, that is a visa denial. They must be included in the whole process, the stepchildren. And another thing to note about the stepchildren, you don't need the consent letter of their biological father or mother. Owing to the fact that you are now legally married to this new spouse, they become his or her stepchildren and don't need the consent of their biological father or their biological mother. So don't forget to include your stepchildren and also attend with them the interview. The third set is the children that you have legally adopted by a court procedure, a legal procedure. You've adopted the children. All those adopted children, they must be included in the initial application and also on the DS-260 form and must be present during the interview. And of all those in the three categories, those children must be under the age of 21. All the children I've discussed about as your derivatives must be under the age of 21. And also, they must not be married. If your children are below 21 and they are already married, they don't qualify to be added in your DV process. I've dwelt so much on that so that you can understand. Now, when I come to the frequently asked question regarding those people that should attend the interview, the first question is, if I don't speak English, should I come with my interpreter? And the answer is, yes, you may come with your interpreter to the interview and the interpreter must be certified. The next frequently asked question regarding those people you should go with to the interview is about the parents. Should you go with your parents to the interview? And the answer is no, you should not go with your parents to the interview. And the third frequently asked question is on the attorney. Should you attend the interview with the attorney? The DV interview only requires you as the principal applicant and your derivatives. There's no need for an attorney. Another thing that you should remember about the derivatives is that they too may undergo questioning during the interview. So when you're preparing for the interview, also let your derivatives know of this. Prepare them as well with the example questions that they may be asked. So let them know about the DV process and let them know that they might be asked some questions. And in most cases, they are asked those questions. So prepare them for that. And finally, 
remember that you need to carry all the documents that are required that pertains to your derivatives. The birth certificate, the police clearance certificate for those above 16 years of age, the passports, those documents, you need them. But remember, the qualification is based on the principal applicant. The principal applicant is the one qualifying and is the one that needs to be academically qualified or qualified through work experience. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Don't forget to like the video and support the channel as well. And let's meet in the next video.